This task force was formed to look at practical workforce solutions, short and long term, to help address the nursing shortage. This has been widely reported from an FHA analysis in 2021 that projects the state will face an overall shortage of 59,000 nurses by the year 2035. Hospitals are also experiencing historically high turnover rates, among 32% for the nursing workforce. What we're talking about is the nexus between higher education and healthcare. A nursing shortage affects us in two fundamental ways. Number one, it affects the cost of healthcare. Because when you don't have enough of something, prices go up. But more importantly, it affects access to healthcare. Because if there aren't enough nurses, then people will have trouble getting taken care of. We've got a retiring population that is moving into the state. We've got a brand new, exciting generation of families being born into the state. And you think of how critical it is to give the proper support to the healthcare needs of those two critical elements of this incredible state. Child care is um, very important for nurses because it decreases the amount of time nurses have to call out because of their child or have to leave work if they get a sick call from their child. We need our legislators to pass uh, um, laws or put in place incentives that would encourage nurses from leaving the state of Florida. Recognition bonuses, uh, housing support, etc. You know, it, it's so important. Uh, we need uh, to make sure that young nurses are able to put roots down, uh, you know, and that we're not just creating, educating nurses that are going to go to out of state because, you know, how, the cost of housing is so expensive. FHA is strongly supportive of housing programs to promote home ownership, such as the Hometown Hero Housing Program, that has been pivotal to providing healthcare professionals with housing in the communities they serve. Over the last three and a half years, we've produced 3,200 nurses. So we believe that working with other ICUF schools, which are other independent private not-for-profits, the state university and the community colleges, we all work together with our policymakers along with industry. We can come up with innovative solutions or everyday solutions to what's needed to tackle this crisis. When we first met, we said, let's look at short-term and long-term practical solutions to this nursing crisis. And here's the good news. Together, we will continue to make this a great state. Together, we can solve this crisis one day at a time.